Here is a Nibiru sighting October 16th, last night, full moon rising over Scotland. Stuart, one of our loyal subscribers over in Scotland, has been waiting for this. He captured this video last night over Scotland. Clear as a bell, full moon rising and Nibiru jetting across the sky. And you are only going to see this footage on the Nibiru channel right here on YouTube. Oh really Scott? Well, here is the very same webcam that is used in your video, which is from Fife Weather on YouTube. And here is the time lapse from the very same camera on the 17th of August 2016 showing the sunrise. Let's take a look at what happens when I play this, and I've slowed this down. And as the sun appears and brightens, we see a lens flare appearing in the sky and moving down towards the sun in the opposite direction that the sun is moving. In the opposite direction, just as I said in my previous video, lens flares will always move in the opposite direction to the light source. And as we keep watching, we can now see that the lens flare is actually on the ground. It's in the water. There it is. Nibiru has landed in the water. Scott from Nibiru Planet X 2016 your videos are nothing but fear-mongering nonsense. And Astronomy Live and I both said to you that we would be more than happy to look at the videos and give you an opinion to tell you when you're looking at lens flares or other objects. But no, you insist on uploading this nonsense. Lens flares and other things that have perfectly normal explanation. And you present it as Nibiru Planet X. You've even presented the Moon as Planet Enoch. Fearmongering for subscriptions. You are in this for the views, you are in it for the money, and this is nothing more than fearmongering and fear porn, just for clickbait to get the views. I sent you an email last night after I watched your previous load of fear porn, and I'm going to read my email out as an open letter to you, Scott. Hey, Scott, I just watched your latest fearmongering, fresh steaming pile of fear porn. I hope that the ghost of that 16-year-old girl who took her own life by hanging herself haunts your conscience for the rest of your selfish life. You obviously have no concern for how vulnerable and fragile people respond to your fear-mongering, as long as you get the clicks and adoration. I've downloaded your video for safekeeping, and I'm going to keep following up on you at regular intervals to ask, Where is your Nibiru now? Why can't I and millions of others around the world see it? Why aren't the government officials hiding out in their bunkers? Why isn't there martial law now? Why aren't we in FEMA camps? Why hasn't society and the economy collapsed? Remember, Scott, these are all predictions that you have made in your fear-mongering. You see, Scott, I've been watching liars, hoaxes, nutters and fear mongers like you for five years now and I've seen it all before. You will still be turning out this BS this time next year. All the while saying Nibiru is coming, Nibiru is coming, like Chicken Little saying that the sky is falling. I hope that one day you might actually have a conscience. You told me that the death of that 16 year old girl really hit home to you because you have a daughter around the same age. I thought you were sincere, but now I don't. I believe now that you are a compulsive liar and a narcissist. You only care about yourself. Otherwise, you would think about the effect that your fear-mongering videos have on vulnerable individuals. If there are any suicides as a result of your videos, I hope that you will be held to account. Shame on you.